How's it going, everybody? Welcome. This is Mod Showcase, and I'm Slayers J. Um, this Mod Showcase thing is me, like going over some of the mods and stuff that are out there that either we use a lot or just came out or stuff that are like maybe like hidden gems. So like, if you have any thoughts or suggestions of stuff that may want to like showcase to like show off to um like to show off so more people are aware of it or not because there is there's a lot of mods in a sc and we possibly cannot add them all because some of them don't work but but another but anyway this mod is called rebels lights it came out in january mid-january and it basically once you add it it basically replaces, not replaces, it basically uh, separates the lights, like the spotlights in the three categories. Like there's, there was already like spotlights, interior lights and corner lights to begin with. But now there are three different versions because, let's get rid of that, we don't need it. You have all of these different versions of spotlights. Here's the original. Here's a clean version of that. And then now you have a slanted, a slope, basically a two by one tip. A two by one, then you got a two by one tip. And then basically the same as that one, except for this one's in projection mode. And same with this slanted. And then this float light ends the large grid series. Let's go ahead and turn those on for a second. Uh, I think it's this one. Yep. And let's go into, let's go to lights real quick. Let's uh, spotlight large. Let me uh, remove the other ones from the um, thing real quick. Mainly because I want to look at the large ones real quick and basically it's also like the range has been increased so it's like i forget what the default max range i think is 120 so now it goes like the 300 on most of these i think some may go even further but they look nice and then oh, we'll get to that later but yeah so it's basically more ways to integrate lights into your builds besides having like the same bulky spotlight everywhere. You can actually have it like encased in your builds and the blocks instead of just using, instead of just having slopes, you can have slopes with lights in it. And it works on multiple different angles. And then let's turn these off. And then you, you also have every version of the large grid spotlights you have it in small grid form which is awesome so it also helps increase your um your um let's uh bring those on let's turn those off it also increases you like like i said your ability to uh um uh, i'm losing my train of thought it also like increases your ability to uh um like build more effectively and stuff. Let's see. Max range is 120. I still think that's a little bit higher than some of the other ones, but yeah, I think it defaults to. I think most of them default to 60. It go up to 120. So yeah, these are the. They're the same same as those except for small grid. But, guys, I do stream over on Twitch. Link is down in the description. I, um, I do have an SE server that, that's, that I play on every Friday. So, and it's a multiplayer. It's open to, it's open to the public via, um, through whitelisted through Steam. So, you have to join the Discord. The Discord link's down in the description. But, um, yeah, I just want to put it out there that I do play this weekly and I am using these lights on there and then my current uh, playthrough over on on the channel as well all right next on the list 
those were just the spotlights. But it's basically straightforward. I just wanted to show you each different block and then the length, like the uh, overall, like um, how hot, how bright it can go. Let's actually let's change it to night. And let's turn these back on real quick. So y'all can fully see. Oh, and this is the skybox we're using on my server right now. So I decided to put it on here. So as you can tell, it it really, really like uh, gives you so many different like angles. And then especially with these, those little beams, spot out in those directions so you can have like that and then it looks like you have light four lights going in different directions and it's awesome and it's the same with the small grid so let's just turn those on real quick so you can see how bright those get all right next up we have interior lights let's turn on the large grid you got the original you got the round, which I love the round ones because they have the range is is crazy and I like it for large grid or small grid. Um, same with the it's basically the same thing, but it's offset. This one's in the center because you know how the interior lights usually always in the center. So the same with that one. And this one is just offset to the side. And then you got the light spear, which which is basically a light pole and then same and then it just goes up to like the medium light pole then you got the small light pole then the small light pole corner and then you got the double corner then you got the large like this is basically the order that it's in when you uh oh, as you're scrolling through the options so that's the way i placed them but Yeah, so you got the large, you got the large grid pole, and then the work light, which is basically that light just by itself, and then of course the spinning light. So let's look at the ranges, brief, quickly. All right, let's go to the lights real quick. Let's take that off, and let's take the large and bring that back on. Um, actually, oops, not that one interior did I not mark it oh I did okay oh I didn't mark them in slides that's that's right okay so you got the large grid regular ones 20 okay large light pole its rain radius is 200 Let's turn off my light so you can fully see the difference. All right, let's turn off this one for a second. Uh, I don't know how to, to work this new build vision right now. Oh, I'll figure it out later. Um, There it is. Uh, you gotta use the wheel. Uh, let's toggle this one off for a second. All right. As you can see, that's that work light, that large grid. Just uh, I don't know. There's just something to it. I never turn that off. <laughs> It doesn't really matter. It doesn't it doesn't really change the effectiveness of it. Whoa. But yeah, let's go back in here real quick. Let's show off the other ones. You got the large, you got the spear. The spear range can go up to 50. The medium light pole radius can go up to 80. So like I said, you're creasing in uh, size. You already know about the spinning light, the rotating light. 
the interior light, that's where it's at, my friends. That's where it's at. Has a range of 40, and it is super bright. Granted, the work light has a greater, this large one has a greater range. Uh, that has a greater range, but, all right, it's a greater range at a narrow cone. This one has a greater range of, this one has a smaller range of 40, but it feels like more. And it's at the default intensity setting too, which is, which is um, pretty good. So, and then let's go back and let's go back and uh, let's uh, turn on, turn that one off. Let's try the offset one. Same thing with the offset. I turn that one off and it's still just as bright because it's basically the same thing except for this one's in the corner. So you can have an interior light to off to the side. Let's see. Um, yeah, basically on any side of the square, you can have the interior light. Not so much with the, the regular round one. And then, is that it? Oh, the work light. The work light should have the same 200 meter radius, but it's more of in a forward direction, kind of like the spotlights, instead of like an overall wide um, range, like uh, like most interior lights. All right, let's turn those off. Ah. Uh, All right, there we go. All right, now let's turn on the interior lights, the small grid. So you, same thing, um, but the it didn't convert over to small grid, the same as a uh, as large grid, like the spotlights did. So you got the regular interior light, you got the round light, you got the spinning light, and then you got the same two offsets that came with the. Waste, wasteland package so he didn't mess with those so as you can see the range the range on those is still the same as always huh that one's 60 I thought hmm, I guess so um spinning is 40 but the one I wanted to show you is this one has the same radius as this one and small grid. But it basically looks exactly like that, except for it's, this one can fit in, in a side to side. This one's still in one spot. It occupies the entire block and it's just that. So these lights are amazing and I think I think this is a mod that mod pack that I think I will use in every single um, playthrough from now on because it allows you to have so much variation. So like if you was gonna have like street lights and stuff like that, why not use some of these in these poles or even a large one if you're trying to build a city and stuff like that. Uh, there. Alright. Oh, there we go. Turn that one off. Because I forgot to turn that one on. Well, I turned it on, but I didn't turn it off. Alright. Next up. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And slay that notification bell for more weekly content on the channel. I do have something coming out every week. Whether it's SE related or anything else. So, um... All the likes and everything is greatly appreciated. But next up, you have the corner lights, which is on my fourth hot bar. So you got the normal stuff, the regular one, and then the double. 
and then now you have a long interior that goes in the middle that's centered then you got the one that's very similar to the original that goes in the corner and then you got the double and I also you have a diagonal so you can so you can have variations and let's go and get rid of that oh, bye bye um let's go and clean that up Alright, yeah, so now you have variations in these uh, interior lights. Let's see, did he modify the ranges on these? Um, corner lights, turn those on. That's the radius of 10. Radius of 10. Long light centered. Radius of 12. Okay. So I think so. He did adjust them. He did give them a slightly bigger range. Oh, and the double long is 16. Hmm, interesting. Is that it? Oh, yeah, I did all of them. So, yeah, it was a whole lot duller over here before. Let's, uh, Yeah, I just wanted to get rid of those so you can see the uh, these in their full brightness. So these are the new lights from the Rubble collection, basically collection mod pack. And then last but not least, we have the small grid. And the small grid mainly is just. You got the normal corner light, the normal double corner, and then all you have is the long interior, which takes up three block space. Which, for, and I think that would be cool, because sometimes you do, like, you may not want a full, like, uh, let's turn my light back on. Sometimes you may not want, like, a small like you may want this but you may want to like like uh longer when your ships and stuff but you don't want you may not especially depending on like the uh shape or something you're going on for your build or whatever this long interior may be useful it, it all depends it's all on you it's whatever you're most comfortable with um Where's that corner? Just turn that back on and take this. And what is its range? 20. And that is bright. Y'all saw how bright it, y'all saw it as I was brightening it up, how bright it got. But yeah, that's the, these are the rebel lights. Let's go and turn them all on. These are the rebel lights and guys, I hope you found this helpful and are useful and I hope you if you don't but it was made by a game named Arkan he did pop into my streams a couple times chatting and stuff like that <laughs> there um, so and this was his first time doing stuff like this like for himself this was his own project and I told him that I was gonna that I was gonna do a video on it so uh, when you first um, put it out there and it was on the front page of the, st of the workshop for for like a couple weeks so but yeah these are the rubber lights guys and I hope you enjoyed the information and like I said if you have any suggestions or anything that we may something else that you think that we should do like that there should be another mod showcase about whether it's something new or something old that that works and everything like that um let me know um just put it down in the comment section or jump to my discord my discord link is down below um come on over um i don't bite um but guys hope you enjoyed my name is slayer j and this is 
Ahmad Showcase. Hope you enjoyed. See you later. <laughs>